Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, a block of iron mu is equal to 5000 mu naught is placed in a uniform magnetic field with 1.5 Webers per meter square. If iron consists of 8.5 times 10 to the power of 28 atoms per meter cube, calculate A part is asking to find out the magnetization and the B part is asking us to find out the average magnetic moment. Now let's look at the A part. A part is asking us to find out the magnetization. Magnetization is given by M is equal to xm times h we can replace this xm with mu r minus 1 and h with b over mu now let's look at the given information here they have mentioned mu is equal to 5000 mu naught so we have the mu available what is the b magnetic field is 1.5 so we have this one also available mu and this one is available now what is this mu r when we have mu mu is the equation for mu is mu is equal to mu naught times mu r here we have mu naught so mu r must be this 5000 right so this 5000 is the mu r so this one is 5000 minus 1 and the magnetic field is 1.5 divided by mu is 4 5 actually mu is equal to 5000 mu naught 5000 mu naught and if we simplify this one, this is going to be what? 4,999 times 1.5 divided by 5,000 times 4, 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7. And that's it. If we simplify this one, this is the A part. If we simplify this one, that's going to give us 1.194 times 10 to the power of 6 amperes per meter. So this is the magnetic magnetization. And the second part is asking the average magnetic moment. Okay, the average magnetic moment. Now, if we assume, like there's an equation that is related to magnetization and magnetic moment that's given by m is equal to sigma k is equal to 1 to n, summation of k is equal to 1 to n m k divided by delta v. This m k is the magnetic moment. This is what we are interested in okay now we already found out magnetization right so we just have to here we have to assume that all the mk align with the applied field of applied magnetic field right so if we assume that we are going to get m is equal to n mk divided by del v okay and here what they have given here they have given if i n consist of 8.5 times 10 to the power of 28 atoms per meter cube so this is atoms per volume in other way we can write it as n over delta v this is equal to 8.5 times 10 to the power of 28 so we have the value for n over delta v available now here we, we are interested in finding mk if we rearrange this equation mk is going to be m delta v divided by n now we know n over delta v if we flip this delta v to the denominator this is going to be what m n divided by delta v we know that n divided by delta v that's equal to 8.5 times 10 to the power of 28 so we can go ahead and plug these values m is magnetization we already know that one 1.194 times 10 to the power of 6 divided by 8.5 times 10 to the power of 28 and that's going to give us the magnetic moment and if you calculate this one you're going to get 1.4925 times 10 to the power of minus 23 amperes meter square and that's gonna be the final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching